What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another Molten Man episode. The day has come. Angel's axis is ready to be processed. So we are here. I just turned the cooler off. It's been hanging for uh, almost a week. Ooh. I have no tread left on my shoes. So like anytime I get wet, I just slip. But we are getting everything prepped. Got the grinder. Got to get, we got the vacuum sealer laid out. Bowls. We're gonna make two different kinds of sausage. We're gonna make bratwurst and some ring bologna. We just call it dried sausage. And got a bunch of extra vacuum sealed bags. So we're gonna get everything together in an order, burger bags, and uh, we'll show you how to do this thing. So we're gonna process this whole thing and uh, it's going in our freezer. All right guys, so first thing that I like to do is get the back straps and turn the loins out. Um, we're saving this towel right here for the dogs. The heart will go in there. I meant to, I meant to uh, save the heart or preserve it a little earlier. I don't like to keep them after that long, but all this stuff is going for dog scraps and then everything else will be made into burger and sausage. So tenderloins right here. You got two tenderloins on each side, one on each side. So you come in here, these two things right here are tenderloins. You make a cut down this side all the way down to those ribs and then on this side and a lot of the times the tender line will pull out without any cuts but I like to get every little piece of meat out of them so you just want to work that meat along those bones and this is arguable arguably arguably the best cut of meat on a deer slash elk uh this is what you call the filet on a cow on a beef cow and uh this is something you only want to cook by itself you don't want to you don't want to make this in a jerky or burger or anything like that That right there is a beautiful axis tenderloin, just like that. And these I don't ever even trim up until I'm ready to cook them. So this will be vacuum sealed. Come over here on this other side. Get some of this tallow off. These, this big axis was fat tea. Same thing, run it down, and you just want to work your knife along that, along these bones that this uh, tenderloin sits on. Perfect tenderloins. So, Angel is going to Vacuum seal these. We'll do whole tenderloins. That'll go in the burger. So two whole tenderloins. And then I'll show you how to get a back strap out. And I'm gonna let Angel get one of them out too. All right, I said I was gonna do back strap next, but I'm not gonna, we're just gonna do it by what we can reach for now. So this is a front shoulder. I'm just cubing up this meat. Throwing it in burger pile. We're gonna make sausage or burger out of it, one of the two. And then all the sinew and like bloodshot stuff we'll throw for the dog, bo uh, dog box. So we're breaking down these front shoulders and the burger slash, slash sausage meat. And then we'll get into our actual cuts, our back strap and Pull those ribs out, cut all that rib meat out for sausage and burger.
So Angel is now grinding up all of our trimmings. Still have some more to get off, but uh, we're just trying to get stuff out of the way and grind it up so we can fill this bucket back up. So we're gonna do that. Then we'll uh, soak our casings. I'll explain how we do this. Soak the casings in salt water for 30 minutes and then they're ready to stuff. Uh, we got ring bologna and bratwurst, like I said. So we need 25 pounds of each uh to do the whole curing process so we'll see what we end up with and it's gonna be delicious all right guys i'm getting the back straps out I'm gonna cut these up into steaks and we are going to vacuum seal them all into individual packages. So we're gonna cut these back straps in about six inch stakes like that. We'll vacuum seal that. I'm gonna leave the silver skin on and we can take that off whenever we go to cook it. Just like that. Grind that in the burger. So we'll vacuum seal these up. Get them in the fridge and then we'll start our burger meat again. Hey guys, we're makeshifting. We got a pound and a half of salt and a gallon of water. And we're gonna put our casings in there for about 30 minutes. Let them soak. like that and then uh, we'll keep grinding add seasoning and then we'll stuff them so we just got done putting in our uh, different measurements of spices like I said we got ring bologna and bratwurst we got six pounds of bratwurst seven pounds of ring bologna uh, this is gonna be bratwurst and all of this is the bologna so we're grinding up, up one more time with the fine grinder and then we're going to take it, put it in our mixer, mix all the meat, and then the last step we'll take the, uh, we'll put the cone on and take these uh, casings, fill the casings, and then the bratwurst, they're already pre-soaked in salt water, so we don't have to do anything with those. So keep you updated, we're going to get all this ground up and ready, and then once we start stuffing, we'll show you what we do. All right, guys, stuffing time. Where are, where's the bear cone? Down here. Bologna, first bologna of the day. Casing is going on. You can take your casing. They've been soaking for probably 45 minutes. And you wanna kinda scrunch it up onto your cone. Now, we are going to stuff 
gotta get it full, gotta get it going. And once it gets tight all the way around, you kind of give it some, give it some more. You want it tight, tight. So there's one. I should have left more so I could have made a knot. Um, I'm just gonna squeeze out some, just twist it. Squeeze that out, make a knot. This evening, and smoke them on the camp chef. Make a knot like that, tie it up, and then we'll hang them from the camp chef and smoke them. So there's one ring of bologna. I'm gonna get all these bologna done, and then I'll show you how to make the bratwurst. Woo! Bologna is done. We got three, six, nine, ten and a half, ten and a half big rings of bologna. Now we're gonna start on the brats. All right, guys, we got it threaded on. We gotta blow up. Wait for it to come out. Now we're gonna fill these up, twist them into links, and keep on going. All right, stop. Well guys, it is now clean up process, which is not the fun part. Cleaning up everything, show you what. The cooler is absolutely full. It is a Yeti 105. I got stuff all over it, but all the sausage is up top, everything else is down below. So I'm going to uh, start smoking that baloney when I get home. I'll see you guys at the house when I start smoking that baloney. Y'all are a little foggy. Man, it's windy here in Texas. I don't know what's going on, but I am home. I don't know if y'all can see those. But they are a smoking. So I got my camp chef set to number seven out of 10 on smoke at 200 degrees. They're gonna smoke for quite a while. So, got all the brats uh, vacuum sealed and in the freezer and uh, we got meat for a long time. So, I'm not gonna wait. I'll do a taste test of these in the next video, see how they taste. I'm going on a hunt very soon. Um, so y'all stay tuned for that. Hope you guys enjoyed it. There's the killer. Uh, stay tuned, hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up. And remember, eat good.